Hey guys, Michael and Jeff here. Um, today I'm going to be showing you, well, doing a review on the new um, Lego Star Wars 2010 Freako Speeder. Um, this is a decent set. Um, I'd give it an 8 out of 10. One, because I'm sorry, but I really don't like the Anakin figure. It's sort of boring because of the Han Solo figure. You already, If you already have that, you know what it's like. I mean, I really just don't like the having Anakin. I would rather have this guy, this leader dude. I'll, I'm gonna sh give you a close up so I'm pretty soon. It's pretty soon, but I'd rather have like a Snow Captain Rex or a Snow Trooper more than Anakin because, well, I think we've had enough Anakins, wouldn't you say? So, yeah. And you might notice this landscape, um, all these snow, like flat white pieces. Um, yeah, I have turned my base into a, like a, snow, like a, a base on Planet Ilum. Um, I s put white pieces everywhere, hop turrets and tauntauns, everything. But it's not a hop base, it's supposed to be a clone base, I I'm not fully done with it. I'll do a video on that once I'm done. But anyways, on to the set. Sorry for that. me explaining everything, but okay. Um, before I go on with the figures, um, I'll show you the box. Um, the box is decent. The box is pretty cool. Um, it shows a cool scene. Um, that it would be T. No, um, dang it! I watched the episode yesterday. I watched Clonewars.com. I forgot the name. I think it was Thai Sen. I think that's who that guy is. Um, shows the Freako speeder. Um, 177 pieces. Rico Speeder, set number 8085, ages 7 through 12. Um, yeah, and it shows the figures, clone logo, it's a decent box. Alright, now for the back. Okay. Um, yeah, it just shows the Tri Fighter, the Snow Drew Battle Pack, and the Rebel Drew Battle Pack. I'll be getting all those. And there's the Freako Speeder, him fighting that dude, Thysen, and then it shows the features. So, um, that's about it for the box. Um, okay. Now, on to the figures. I'm just going to take the box away. So, you get um, Thysen, who I don't really care if it's pronounced. If I pronounce it wrong. He's pretty cool. I like him. Um yeah. Pretty nice figure. Lots of detail on that like head, whatever that thing is that he wears on his head. Has that shell thing on his back. They detailed him a lot. Um by the way guys this set cost um thirty US dollars, but it's gonna be called twenty it's gonna be twenty five US dollars when Lego releases it. <clears throat> sorry for my voice. Um, sorry. He has that little spear thing. Um, silver. And guys, this is one piece. Yeah, this is one piece altogether. And I know I said I wouldn't get any more sets until Christmas, but I pulled together 30 bucks and I went to my local Toys R Us and I grabbed it. But this is pretty cool. I like this figure. Um, Okay, so now on to Anakin. Not the best figure. He's okay. He has the hood thing. I'm not sure if you can see, but um, let me focus my camera. There's like a Jedi symbol sort of a thing right there. He has the printed face, and this is cool about it. He has a double printed face. He has like a mask thing that he's wearing right there. That's pretty cool. And then he has the printed body the Jedi symbol and everything. Um, he has the normal chrome blue lightsaber with light, white hands and gray legs. Um, he's a pretty cool figure. Alright, now on to the Freako speeder itself. It's okay. Um, I think they could have done a little bit better on it. Um, here. Yeah, this is not the best landscape or base to be, to be doing reviews on. It's kind of rough. I think it could have shown a better set. Whatever. 
All right. So, um, the cockpit, it's pretty good, but sadly, if you close it, I'm not sure if you can see that, but there's a huge gap right there. That's what I hate when Lego. That's what I hate Lego does. They make these giant gaps. I mean, even in like the Ark 170, I mean, there's a giant gap in that. I think he would probably the Ark pilot would probably die. But yeah, I mean, I mean, I think they could have fixed that. I mean, there's no reason. There's no excuse for having this. I mean, maybe if I decide to mod it after this review, I might modify it or something. But yeah. All right. So you can open up the cockpit. You can. I'm gonna take off a few pieces because this is getting annoying. Okay. And then you can take Anakin. You can put him in there. Um, he does hook onto the handlebars that are in there. I just really don't feel like doing that. So, um, yeah. Okay. Now, I'm not sure if you can see or not, but it has these little things on each side, these little, like, tool things on each side. And that's pretty cool. Um, yeah. has stickers, like, all over the front of it. These little engines. They're nice. On each side. And this is one thing that Lego Boy, aka David, did not show you in this set. Where you can pull off the top. And in here is a little crate. It basically doesn't come out once you put it in there. And you can store weapons and stuff in there. Um, Alright. So, put that on there, and <clears throat> there, I'll put that back on, and there's a Republic symbol on there, too. Um, also, there's some white, or not white, these are like clear pieces. Um, if you can tell me what they are, like clear pieces, or if they're um, like blasters or something, because this set really has no guns, like no... No, no defenses. So if you could tell me what those are, I'd appreciate it. Um, but yeah, that's really it for this set. Um, I mean, it's it's good. I'm gonna get like five of them for my my base that I'm working on. Um, I recommend you get it. Um, it's cool for the speeder, but not for if you the Anakin really isn't that cool. I don't really like it. But um. That's a quick look at my snow base, or yeah. Um, all this gray is gonna all go to be white because I'm gonna get base plates and stuff, and I'm gonna get a bunch of those snow trooper battle packs. And there's my commander killer, and I'll cover my base in white pieces. And yeah, and before I go, here's a few updates on my customs. You guys might have saw those new logos. That didn't make her 4275 help me out with when I took the pictures with my awesome camera. That sadly does not upload videos to YouTube anymore for reasons that I don't know why. Sorry if my voice just sound different today. I have a cold again, which is very annoying. It's just I wanted to get this review up. But here I have my Commander Gonch. You might have seen Vinmaker. He helped me with those little uh, things on the helmets. On the helmet. Starcorp's little arm shot pistols, all that, pretty cool. I like him. He has a belt decal and all that. Um, but that's about it. Um, so thanks for watching.